Now here's another situation from the same game where uh, Aurora, Aurora University actually fails to generate speed behind a puck in a situation where it might have resulted in a goal. So I'm going to play the clip real quick. There we go. Now, let me just step by step walk through this. They get a nice pass off here. So they get a little breakout going. Nice little play to get around. And they make the pass. Now this guy is heading in. He should be setting the false gap. He's the first guy in the zone. He's not a real threat. He's going in one on one. We got this back checker here. Uh, the chances of him actually making it through and scoring are pretty slim. But look at these players. They stop skating. They just completely give up on the play. I don't know if they're going for a line change. Maybe they're at the end of their shift. But if they had kept going and generated speed, just started uh, using crossovers, generate as much speed behind the puck as possible right here, then watch this. The defenseman actually pinches in and loses all of his momentum. If they'd been skating hard, they could be up there right with the play by this point, with using crossovers, accelerating. And there's a loose puck right there. Flying through that thing, picking up the loose puck, these defensemen wouldn't have stood a chance. That might have been a breakaway. Anyways, just yet another example from the same game, and there are many more. I'm just going to keep going through this <laughs> until I stop finding them. Uh, I wasn't even looking that hard, but uh, now that I've you know, pointed out a few of them, uh, I'm noticing tons and tons of this situation, and uh, I, I think it would be a huge impact in any game if, if uh, you, know, you could coach your team to actually continuously generate speed behind the puck, not give up on the play like these players right here.